Look at these pictures. Look at these happy faces. What do you think? What happened to them? Why they are so happy? Would you be shocked if I say that they just got death sentence? Yes, they just got death sentence, and still they are so happy about it. But why? These people are happy because they are going to die because they murdered two people. One of them was the editor of the very first gay magazine in Bangladesh. Any sane person would understand that they killed them because they thought their religion demand that they should kill someone who is the editor of a gay magazine. They feel in their heart that they serve Allah the way Allah want them to serve Allah. So, according to them, they are good Muslim and they fulfilled their duty towards Allah. And that's why they are so happy, even though they know that they are likely going to be executed. Now, a lot of people tell me that, no, 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 those people are not real Muslim. Why those people are not real Muslim? They are willing to die. They are willing to get executed by killing someone because they believe in their heart. They believe that Allah demand them to kill those people. Who the hell? You think you are that you know Islam better than they do. They are willing to die for their conviction. And they are so happy about it. Look at those happy faces. In the West, a lot of people who are for the right of gay people not to be tortured, not to get killed, to live a normal life, feels that Islam is okay with that. Really? In every country where Muslims are majority, gay people are getting beaten, they are getting killed, they are getting discriminated against. There are a few countries where gay people can be executed, and all of those countries are Muslim majority countries. Do you think it's just coincidence? Really? The reason why Muslim majority nations are so cruel against gay people is because that's their religion. Their religion demand them to be cruel to gay people. Now again, look at these happy faces and then tell me what you know about Islam that these people do not know. Point out what sources you have that these persons, these happy faces did not have access to. Give me the references because I can assure you, I can point out many, many, many Islamic literature that will say that yes, gay people can be executed, they can be discriminated against. Time and time and time again, I said that what is Islam is not going to be defined by you, it is not going to be defined by me. What is Islam is going to be defined by two things. One, what is the teaching of the book called Quran? And second, what is the teaching of the man called Muhammad? So to me, Islam is all about Quran and Muhammad, period. I don't give a damn what else says about what Islam is and what Islam is not. Now, of course, if you want to know what Muhammad taught, how Muhammad lived his own life, we have to refer to Hadith and his biographies. And of course, there might be some discrepancy between Hadith biographies. But still, when it comes about knowing what Quran tells us, what Muhammad told us, and how Muhammad lived his own life, it is absolutely clear that to be a good Muslim, you have to be very cruel towards gay communities. Sometimes some people tell me that, look at all those moderate Muslims. 
And I say, how do you know they are Muslim? Just because they are telling you to? If I tell you that I am a Muslim, but I do not believe in Quran, and I do not believe in Muhammad, will you consider me as a Muslim? If not, why not? What is your criteria of telling who is a Muslim and who is not? What disqualify me as a Muslim? And what qualify those people who you think are moderate Muslim as a Muslim? I will argue that no, a Muslim cannot be moderate. By definition, a Muslim cannot be moderate. If you believe that gay people should be executed, you cannot be moderate. And Islam demand that gay people should be executed. And anyone who think that under Islam, the right of gay community can be established is either ignorant or having a cognitive dissonance. Thanks for watching this video.